Hey y'all, today it's just gonna be a solo video of me because apparently Teresa and the fams, they all got sick. So what I'm gonna do for y'all today is I'm gonna be making a Japanese kind of stylish stir fry with some noodles. And then I also wanna take you around over here in our backyard and show y'all my chickens and ducks and everything. So let's go outside. Okay, so right now, this is our backyard. It's a messy from the winter time. We still have not cleaned it up. Every weekend something's going on, so it's kind of hard to get back here and clean up, but let's go see the chickens. Here's some of our big chickens. Say hi, big chickens. Hi. Gotta open that door for them. at them they're so happy they're free it's because inside their run they've taken care of all the grass no more grass and then over here if it's not too windy i have one quail he's always hiding and i got my silkies ah. right here here's mrs peg come on mrs pegs she has to hop because when she was just a wee baby a rat a rat got a hold of her leg and now she only has one leg but she's doing fine and she's thriving now let's go get the mini chickens and we recently got some ducks and there's the ducks they love their water hold on just realized i wasn't recording a mini chicken coop there's our little duckies. We're only keeping three of them. And then there's our little chickens. Alex made this little blurry thing. Um, just something quick so they can hide under something when a hawk comes. Let's get them some food. We are hungry. My husband is the one who comes out and feeds them. Found it. See, they follow me. You hungry? You hungry? Come on. You want some food? You want some food? You hungry? Are you hungry? There they are. They were hungry. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle those over there. There you go. Oh, we got someone who wants it too. Man, if y'all can hear me, Alex talks about how str how stress free all this is. It just causes me stress, but I'm gonna try and see if I can get the ducks in the pool. Okay, little duckies, y'all ready to go in the? Y'all wanna go in the little pool or the big pool? Y'all can go in the little pool. It's a little dirty. Let's go. Come on. Gotta wrangle y'all up. Come on. But of course, I would pick the most windiest day to record but i feel like it's just always freaking windy now i can't get around it let's go to the water y'all aren't very good at finding it let's go to the water no 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 you're going the wrong way you're going the wrong way how about you no you got the big water over here Come on. Come on. Y'all gotta walk up there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. I got one. Okay. I'll do one. Because they're kind of stupid. Come on. Y'all 
got one in there? Let's go. Let's go. Let's walk in there. I got another. I got another. There you go. Usually they're so excited to get in the water. Now, you're fast. You're fast. I got you. <laughs> Okay, just three. Whew. It's a lot of work, guys, and it can be stressful. I don't get it. All of this is temporary too. This is something we got just recently real quick. But they love the water. Aren't y'all so cute? Aren't y'all cute beauties? Everybody's just enjoying the rest of the day. I don't even want to pan over here because it's blurry for one. Okay, and look at look at everything we have to clean. Okay, I'll show you. This is real stuff, guys. There we go. This is real stuff, guys. Like, I don't know. Alex used to be really clean, and all of a sudden he just stopped being organized. So one day we'll get to that. There's a reason why we have to stay out here. I don't think I told y'all that. We have to stay out here now with all the chickens and ducks because they recently, in the past couple years, well, since they started, COVID started, and um, they cleared out a big, a lot of woods over close to our neighborhood. And ever since they cleared out all those trees, the hawks have come and they've come to live over here and now they're everywhere, so. We have lost some chickens to hawks. Oh, look at this. He's looking for some food. Not a hawk, but a vulture. Note to self, he still can't look up in the sky even though it's cloudy. But yeah, the hawks are over here now. They're living, they're thriving on live animals. And we've lost quite a few chickens because of them. So we're, when they're out, we have to be out here. Whereas before, we could let them free all day and they'd be fine. But, so the next part here in this video, I am going to make a... It's... I don't know what it's called. It's some kind of stir fry with um, udon noodles. I love those kind of meals. And I saw it on TikTok. I think it was TikTok. And so I just bought everything. I'm going to clean up my grill over there. And then I'll show y'all all the ingredients. Okay, so I got the ingredients here. of Everything I'm going to use for the stir fry. So let me turn this camera around. Okay, I got my udon stir fry noodles. I actually got these at Walmart yesterday. And they were cheaper than Kroger. Probably about $1.50. Then I got onions. You can use any onion you want. But our favorite is red. A couple bell peppers. I'm just going to use maybe about half a cup of green onions. And then maybe half of this big, huge container. It's one pound, so half a pound of sliced mushrooms. I'm gonna do a spoonful of garlic. Probably about half a package of these carrot sticks, and that's 10 ounces. And then um, some chicken. And I'm making a lot for me and Alex because I do leftovers for lunches. Also, don't forget your favorite Japanese sauce. The video I saw, he did it with uh, teriyaki sauce with this brand. I couldn't find it, so I thought I'd try the Japanese barbecue. I've never had that before. So let's get to slicing and cooking. Just to let y'all know, you might hear my washer and dryer in the background because Alex doesn't have patience when it needs to be clean. I got half a bag of carrots. Woohoo! He loves mushrooms. Um, they're fine. They're slimy, but I'll eat them over there. I got my chives. I actually am not gonna put those in right now because they will burn. So 
So we'll put those in almost last. This is for later. A spoonful of garlic makes the medicine go down. That will, it actually, garlic is very good for you medicinally. Um, I'm gonna put that in later too because you don't wanna burn garlic. So I'm gonna do two bell peppers. And they call for one onion, but we love our onions, so. I say this to you. Sha la 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 di da di da. Sha la 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 di da di da. I don't want to cry. Usually cut this a lot faster, but today I'm just like bleh. I can't see. It burns the eyes. I always cut my meat last. That way I can cut my veggies on the same thing. Cutting board. And I cut off the fat just because Alex doesn't like it. He's a picky petunia. Okay, so how much chicken do I want? How much chicken do I want? How much? Ooh, I feel a bone. I feel a bone. I feel a bone. Okay, now we're gonna cut this into cubes. before you can do it while you're cooking don't matter let me wash my hands because i gotta do pepper 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 and then some pepper if you have anybody who hates pepper alex been with him for 20 years i sneak it into every dish and he doesn't know <laughs> but if he sees me do it different story completely different he won't watch this video I don't have one of those fancy griddle pans, bowls, to put over that something to cook it. So I'm just using a deep dish pan. This will work just fine. Okay, I gotta show y'all this. This is Delicioso. Got this at Sam's Club. They are tahine mango rings. So they're like the soft chews like you would get with the peach rings but they're mango rings with tahine on them. They are delicious and addicting. I suggest you get them and hide them from yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna get this all outside and we're gonna start cooking. I'm gonna season this. I need to get it nice and hot. And then we take some oil. And of course, the wind is back. Put a bunch of oil over it. Honestly, there are different oils you can use. Some are to burn right. I don't care. I've done this for years, so I'm going to do it. Oh, Alex is home. He's taking care of the animals. That's the stressful part for me. I fit by my tongs, so this will have to do. Also, make sure you season the side of these. Text them. Last year this got rained on so it was rusted and it took a long time this year. There's no rust, so should be good. Also do the outside, like I said. It protects it. I'm gonna let that go about 15 minutes. Yeah, this is optional, but if you have a Mexican husband who can't give up tortillas, cook your tortillas on the griddle as well. Put it on a tray. Okay, spill it 
bit of oil on there. Put the chicken. You want to check the oil ready? You hear it? It sizzled. See, she it. Okay. Grill that up. No shit, Sherlock, huh? Then, <laughs> that's a low. In the meantime, I'm going to open up my noodles. My udon noodles. Let's get those ready for next time. Oh no! It's not part of the stuff. Drop the pads on the ground and most of them fall out. Natural, I know. See? You don't need all the fancy tools. It helps. But you don't need them. Chicken's halfway done, it has a little bit of crispiness on it. Mix it. So, what I like to do, I like to leave it spread out. That way, one part of everything one side of everything can kind of get a little bit more crispy and it just tastes good when you take a bite of that mm, it's delicious also the wind was supposed to stop and surprise surprise it didn't so what i figured out about these things is on the outer edges, it doesn't get as hot. So if you want to be in the process of cooking, kind of get more towards, get it away from the edges. And then once you're done cooking, but you want to keep it warm, I suggest putting it off to the side. That'll keep it cooking a little bit, but not as much as in the middle. Add the garlic. Might have been a little bit too much, but I forgot my spoon. That's okay. That is okay. There you go. And then some green onion. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm going to put this off to the side. Then I'm going to heat up my noodles. Turn this down too. Okay. There's one. And there's two. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Some of it out there. And then just cover it. for my tortillas. I didn't have Mexican tortillas, so this is what he gets. Flour tortillas. He has to have them with every meal. Or it's just, he just doesn't enjoy it. Weirdo, I know. Oh, how I like, how you wave Oh, you're dancing real close. Okay. A little 
to break them apart. Uh, let's mix them together. Then add your sauce. Oh well. I'm going to go ahead and turn them off because everything is cooked and the heat will keep it cooking. And this is what it looks like when it's all said and done. Mm. Let's go in and try it. All right, it's all done. Let's try it. There's that. Doesn't that look good? Like Yum yum, and I need a little sad salad. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything in my bite. Chicken, mushroom, veggies. Mmm. That's delicious. I highly suggest it. It's delicious, it's light, has a little bit of sweet, and it's perfect. It has the noodles. It's really like you're at some kind of Asian buffet, not a restaurant buffet now i would i you know what i would i would rank it higher than a buffet so but please try it the sauce is really good you don't need a lot so it would probably this is going to be about it's going to be two dinner meals and then also two lunches and i only went through a third of it so that's three meals out of that one bottle but um give it a try get yourself a griddle if you don't have a griddle Cook it on the stove, it'll still be as good. So, I hope y'all try it. If you have any suggestions of anything else you would like to see, let me know. And hopefully, Teresa and her family won't be sick next week for our next video. Well, thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.